anchorage or a long trip where you're going to be anchoring out, it may not be a bad idea to check a few things. Now here's what I did. So let's start at the bow of the boat with the ground tackle. Now I've got a fortress anchor. I've been using the fortress for 25 years on every boat that I've had. Uh, the 290 Sea Ray, the 4087 Bayliner, and now on this 30 foot uh, Islander. Never had a problem with it and it still looks like new and I've used it a lot. So starting at the bow, let's take a look at the anchor. Make sure everything is alright with that. That the flukes are in good condition, nothing is um, cracked, everything is tight. Then we go to the swivel. Check that, make sure that's in good condition and that the connection there, you see I've got a um, stainless steel wire through it so that it doesn't come unscrewed. It's very unlikely it would, but it might. So let's make sure that the locking wire is on. Next, check the chain, and I mean every link of it. A uh, boat neighbor of mine a couple years ago, they were doing that, and they found three links that were cracked, so they had to replace those. Then, the anchor rope itself, and again, check every bit of it. You don't know how much you're really going to need to put out. And as I'm going through mine, it's not in bad shape, but it is starting to fray a little bit here and there, so I may want to think about replacing that pretty soon. Now I did a video earlier on building an anchor uh, road, and I'll put a link in the description for that. Then if you have a windlass, check that, make sure that's working. Check your uh, deck cleats where you're going to attach your um, road to to keep it attached to the boat. Look at the anchor roller. Make sure that's in good shape. Now I didn't have one when, the, when I got the boat. But I got one from Kingston Anchor and I did a video on that too on how to install it and make sure you put some backing plates in. Alright, now let's take a look at the... Um, chain locker or anchor locker itself and mine needs some cleaning. And the other thing that I knew but I kind of forgot about it is the bitter end on mine is not connected to anything. Now it's not that that's going to keep you in place. The idea of the um, attaching the bitter end to something inside the um, locker is that you don't lose it all overboard. I'm going to take a look at adding an eye hook to one of the chain plate bolts just to be on the safe side. A few other things to check on uh, and what I recommend and I carry it is a emergency battery charger, a spotlight, and oh make sure that these are charged before you leave the pier. It's not going to do you any good if they're not charged up and then a first aid kit. Check your anchor light, is that working? Now I checked mine, it's hard to see in the daylight, but I could see that it was on, so I feel good with that. Uh, and the other lights of course, inside the boat, make sure you've got lights in there. Do you know how to use your anchor alarm? It's been a while since I've used mine, well, four or five months now at least. Check it out, make sure you know how to use it, and it's easy to test. All you have to do is take your chart plotter or your uh, tablet like I have here, set the alarm, walk away from it, see if it goes off. Easy to check. So a couple other nice things to have or convenient things to have on board would be some bug spray, citronella, something like that, a fly swatter. Uh, some mosquito netting if you have it so that you can open your windows or your hatches or your port lights. And of course some foul weather gear and then some of the fun stuff. Fishing, a dinghy or kayak for exploring, and some other water toys. Now there may be a few other things that you want to check. I mean this is just the things I checked. If you come up with some other ideas, please mention it in the... Uh, comments below. 
like to have that shared to the rest of the people. But until next time, guys, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.